In this video, we'll see how to make use of the if function with a nested and inside it. Here's a scenario. We have some colleges and the total cost of attendance per year and the student to faculty ratio. And we wish to see if the student to faculty ratio is less than 10 and whether the total cost per year is less than 10,000. And if both these are less than these figures, then we want to give it a rating of one. If not, we want to give it a rating of two. Now, one way to accomplish this, as we saw in the previous video, um, is to make use of a nested if function. If C5 is less than C1, that is C5 is less than C1, and if D5 is less than D1, then you call it a one, if not, it's a two, and then if not, it's a two. We'll see how to do the same thing using a nested if with an AND function. So here goes. So you can click on the cell here, press the FX to insert function, choose logical. And within that, if the logical test is that AND uh, within parenthesis, C5 is less than C$1 comma d5 is less than d dollar one now why am i putting dollar here before the one because the c1 and the d1 appear in the very first row and i'm planning to copy this formula to other rows so if i put a dollar before the c1 and the d1 just before the ones here then when i copy this formula all the way down the dollar sign will prevent this one from becoming two so that we'll avoid referring to C1 and then to C2 and then to C3 and so on. So the true value is one. So if both these conditions are satisfied, then you want to say one. If not, you want to say two. And now you can double click here and then you can see that you get the identical answer to both these different methods of using the if function nested with if and nested with and. So that's it for now. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.